Prologue. It was two years later, since the Battle at Sudi Temple. New alliances were formed, old warriors retired, many old enemies and allies alike perished in the flames of war. If all these developments and more, the road to everlasting peace looked clearer each passing day. Still, due to the efforts of Natasha and Sonoma to bring down a zero Obelon, they both had used up all of their prime powers. Natasha was still weak from from then onwards. Because of this, the leadership of Anjoska fell to her husband Sonoma and his side of the family. They led Anjoska well as they oversaw the reconstruction of the parts of the universe that were affected by in the last war. Aladi Lafla, the Queen of Pupunun people, gets even closer to her uncle Angelo. Angelo had lost many of his top allies in the last battle, and it was clear that he was in the same. To cheer up the one man who has helped her and her people since she first became queen, Anani would often visit and consult her uncle whenever she could. Angelo appreciated this, as he had more allies of the Androsian Empire coming to his side as his thirst for power grows. As Angelo's power grew, he recruited Colin, Colin and Lucius, who built the Sudi Temple by force to aid him in his projects. Angelo knew that Natasha would not last long, and seeing that her son would not seek the throne, Angelo could eat could see his destiny coming true ever closer. As Angelo prepared to ascend to the Androsian throne, the hero of the last war, known as the protector, Darius of Law, and the light bringer, Hikari Urkasin, set out on a journey together. The goal was to wipe out the last of the escape forces of Bahasudi from the universe.